Welcome to Enrichment Week. Today, for my directed draw, I am going to draw what I think is the cutest Star Wars character, and that is an Ewok. So we're gonna start right here in the center of our paper, maybe toward um, the top part, and you're gonna draw an oval and a horizontal line underneath that oval. And this is going to be the nose and the mouth to our Ewok. On either side of this, we're gonna draw a circle. I always struggle with drawing perfect circles, but give it your best effort. I'm gonna draw a circle on the left, and then a circle on the right, and I'm sure you guys can guess, those are going to be the eyes. And we want to draw a smaller circle in the top left corner of each eye. And that'll be the kind of the uh, white glint in our Ewok. And then take your marker and go ahead and color this in. And I said marker, but if you don't want to use a marker, use a pencil first. I like to use a marker because once it's done, it's done. I can't overthink this, and it's not going to be perfect, but I give it my best effort, and we've talked about it all year in art. It's supposed to be unique. It's not supposed to be exactly the same. If we wanted it exactly the same, we would use a stencil, or we would just copy. You wanna make it unique. That's what makes it you. All right, so and color in the eye black, leave just this part here white. After we have done this, you can see that starts to look like the face. We're going to draw our head. Right, so with our head, and this one's pretty important because you want to start in the right spot. You want to start right about here. I always try to go like halfway from the eye. So let's say right about here. And all we're going to do is draw a curved line and we're going to stop right about there. The reason why is we're going to draw a little bit of hair and maybe like five or six tufts going up. And they can go in all directions. It does not matter. And we're going to stop there and then you're going to continue. We have this curved line here. We want to mirror that on this side the curved line there. And then I want to finish this on the bottom. And then we're going to have some hair also here. And like I said, it can go in all directions. You can have little tiny ones like this or make it a little bit longer. But the important part is that there's hair and it connects right back here, just like that. So now you can see that we have the start of our Ewok. The next step, we're going to be drawing the hood. So I'm gonna kind of, right here, right where we have this, I'm going to also start right about here, and I'm gonna draw up. And then over, mirroring just like I did on the left side. Now when we have our hood, I'm gonna come back to this spot, and I'm gonna curve it down, and I'm gonna stop right about here. And the reason I'm gonna stop right about there, it's a little left of center. And then I'm gonna take this piece, bring it down a little bit, and this is gonna be more of a straight line, straight diagonal line. And there's our hood. Now, Ewoks wear leather hoods, so we wanna give it a little dimension, and there's gonna be some creases. I always like to do this because it makes it come to life. And you can make as many creases as you want. There is no wrong answer here. But it's not gonna be flat. It's gonna have some creases. All right, now we have the head. What are we missing? Ears. So I'm gonna start right about here. And first, it's a curved line, but it's, straight, or uh, not straight, but it's smooth. It's not jacket. 
And we're gonna add a couple jagged parts for the ear. It's like the hair. And then finish it with a smooth curve line. Same thing on this side. Start smooth. And then a couple jagged for the hair. And then finishes smooth. So our Ewok is starting to come to life. The next step, we need to make the body. So I'm gonna start right about here. And it's gonna be jagged, like we talked about, because that's the hair. Stop right about here. And then this is gonna be our Ewok's foot. Now I'm gonna mirror that on this side. I'm gonna start right about here. And you want to have those jagged, hairy body come down. If you want to do small jagged ones, long jagged ones, you can. And you're going to make the foot toward the walk. And those should be even. I think this one is a little high. So, you know, I can pull it down a little bit. And then it's a little closer to even. All right. Next step. I want you to make almost like a happy face. Smile right here. And then we're going to draw a diagonal line down and a diagonal line down. I'm sure you guys can guess those are going to be the, the legs. And then we need to connect these. So I always like to start here, and I know I'm going to aim here. And it's basically horizontal, but it curves up a little bit at the end. Same thing here, I always like to start here and I'm, I'm looking at that point, but I'm starting here. And basically horizontal, but it curves up in the end. And then we need to give our Ewok two toes. And you do the same thing on the other side. All right, how does it look so far? You guys can always pause and slow down. What are we missing? Well. Our Ewok needs arms, that's right. So with arms, I'm gonna start right about here. I kind of made a mistake there, but maybe I can make that a little bit of a crease. You can always do that, guys. There's no real mistakes. So what I, I need to do with my arm is I wanna bring this arm down and I'm just gonna do a couple mini jags. Nothing significant, just a couple mini ones and then I just bring it right up against his body. And let's make one little finger there. You can't see the rest, it's behind his body. And with this side, we're going to make this Ewok. They have these staffs. So I'm going to make a circle here. And you can't see the entire circle because the other part of the circle is behind his body. And now I'm gonna make two little fingers here because that's how our Ewok is going to hold the staff. All right, here's my favorite part. This is the part that I love the most. We need to make the staff, okay? So I'm gonna draw vertical lines. I'm gonna start with one vertical line. And let's start right about here at the ear. And here's the thing where you have to have some imagination. You have to imagine this is straight and it's going down through through. Obviously, I'm not going to draw it there because it's behind his ear. So I'm trying to make this as straight as I can. And if it's not perfect, it's okay. And it's going into his hand, so we're not going to see it there. And then I'm going to keep drawing it down straight, 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 all the way down to the ground here. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Now, luckily, I don't have to stop there. Finish it off with a horizontal line. Okay, so on his staff, this is a fun part. Make, make sure these two are even. Okay, so we are going to draw slightly curved horizontal lines. And I'm drawing a bunch of them. You can draw as many as you want. I think that's enough. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect them like this. Now, that's a pretty cool staff, but 
We need to make that staff a weapon. So I'm going to draw something sharp at the end. Remember, that's probably the point I'm looking at because that's about even in the middle here. So I can draw a diagonal line here and a diagonal line there. Wow, that Ewok looks dangerous. So last thing, I want to draw his arm actually connecting to his hand here. I'm gonna start right about here. All right, guys, there is our Ewok. One thing that you can definitely do is pause, rewind. My favorite part is when I get to show you how it will look when you finish up. I hope you enjoyed that. Happy enrichment.